We're going to talk today about the IC2200. It's an older ICOM D-Star radio. It was one of the first iterations of D-Star radios. You have to understand that the ICOM radios have gone through several memory structures. They're the easiest today they've ever been, but that doesn't mean that the original isn't still usable. And these 2200s are coming around on the market with the D-Star board in them. Be sure you check for that if you're buying one. And they can be very usable. It just takes a little planning on your part to make it usable. It's not going to be the radio you travel with. It's not going to be the radio you put a thousand D-Star memories in. It's going to be the radio that you use at home on two different repeaters, at the park on a repeater that you hit there. So this is the 2200. Usually when this one opens, it opens like this. Notice there are no D-Star columns. Without the board, of course, the D-Star columns are meaningless. Well, let's turn them back on. And there is no D-Star calculator in this program. The reason there's no D-Star calculator, your call signs, there are six of them. Repeater call signs, there are six of them. And that's it. That's all you get in one file at one time in this radio. With that, you can set up three different repeaters. You can go to four different reflectors and have a talk and an unlink channel. So you see you can have a lot to play with. It's just you have to make the plans and do the work for the program. The program's going to make it easy for you to get everything in the radio, but you need to do the organizing. Let me show you some of that organization. I'm going to use this notepad program here, and I've been out to the D-Star websites that have the information for my area. I have found that I have one repeater on 146.440. It's a minus. Its call sign is W0FRC. I have another repeater in my area, in the same general area, that's on 145.3750. It's also a minus. And its call sign is KC0CVU. I want to connect to R30, which is where you always find me. The L is the link. I want an unlink, which is a U command. I want a CQ. I want to go to reflector 1, Charlie. And I can go anywhere else. Uh, there will be one more space in this file. Let's go to 2 alpha. And L is the link. With that organization, with those pieces of information, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to D-Star Settings, and I'm going to set up, these are the Your Call Signs. These are the Repeater Call Signs. So I'm going to set that up. Start with my call sign, K0RTX. Notice there's not even the four-digit message at the end of this. Your call sign, CQ, CQ, CQ. I know I'm going to need it, so I put it in there first. The unlink call sign, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, U. In the eighth position, reflector Charlie, reflector 1, There's a net on this one on Sunday nights. And let's go ahead and give it the echo because I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit the repeater I'm going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, echo. That could just as well be the information set up, but I need to use echo. Repeater call signs. We have KC0CVU. And we're going in on the C side of it. We have KC0CVU. We're coming out on the gateway. Notice I can't type. You can probably hear that. It just means I'm one too many spaces into it. 
And I also have W0FRC and just backspace 1 and I'm going in on the C side W0FRC and I'm coming out on the gateway. Set up a text message and tell this OK. Let's make this one 14652. It's FM. We don't do anything with the D star. I'm going to start down here. The first repeater was 1453750. The program already knows it's minus. Notice here all I have is FM, FM narrow, and AM. The name of this though, I can't put very much, so I'm going to put CVU. TK. That's my talk channel. Remember how important the name is because that's what you're going to see so you know what this channel does. Digital mode. I'm going to turn it on. Didn't have a digital code on these. My call sign. Notice it's in a drop down this time. I can't just type anything in. This is my talk channel. My repeater 1 my repeater 2. 145.375. This is my CVU. We'll make this my echo. I'm now going to pick this up and copy it and paste it several times. I want this one to be my CVU unlink. I want this one to be my R30. I want this one to be my R1. And I want this one to be my R2. I'm going to come over here to digital mode. I'm going to control C, drag them down, and control V. Easy way to do it, but I've got some fields that aren't active like they should be something with the program. So I'm going to save my file and we're going to call it D star 1. I'm going to close and I'm going to reopen. It's computers. It's a spreadsheet. It just happens with it. My call sign is all set up. I want this to be my echo channel. These two are still the same and notice they're already filled in. Well, this is a G. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to control C and control V and now they're all G. I'm going to come. So now all I have to do is work with this one. This is my unlinked channel. This is reflector 30. This is reflector 1. And this is reflector 2. Now, let's do my other repeater. 146.44. So the program thinks it's simplex, but we saw that it was a minus. And now it's a minus 600. All calculated out for you. And we're going to now pick this up and we're going to copy it. We're going to paste it. And I'm going to save it. It's computers. Save often. I'm going to turn it on. And like I said, whatever it is with the program, I'm going to save, I'm going to close, and I'm going to reopen. A lot of it's now already filled in, but not quite right, because this is the W0FRC repeater and W0FRC. I'm going to pick this up, Control C, Control V, pick this up, Control C, Control V. I'm going to make this my unlink. I'm going to make this my echo. I'm going to make this 30 Charlie. I'm going to make this 1 Charlie. I'm going to make this 2 Alpha. I just used the same your call signs for a second repeater. So I w I'm able to get a lot of mileage out of these. And this is now the FRC talk.
This is the unlink. You know that names are what you want them to be. This one's moderately limited by the number of characters, but make it make sense to you. Let's look at one more thing here. Notice I have two more spaces here. I could set up another repeater. Talk, unlink, echo, three reflectors. I could, I can't change one of these if I'm going to use them on the two repeaters that I've already set up. But I could, if I decided I didn't want to use the echo and I take the echo out of all three of them, I can change this to another reflector. I don't have to use them all on that other repeater. So I have, now I have three repeaters and I have several places I can go. This file's ready to save, send to the radio, and as with all DSTAR files, you listen on your talk channel, you come down and you connect to a reflector. Once connected and the repeater tells you it's connected, you go back to your talk channel and talk and enjoy your new company that you find all over the world. You go to unlink and hang up because it's always nice to hang up if you're the one that dialed. can do either one of the two repeaters depending on which one you're closer to. Remember, you must be able to hit the repeater. Just as in analog, you have to be able to hit the repeater. Your commands are all set up, ready to tell the repeater what to do. Coming in on the seaside, going out on the gateway. It's a great little radio. If you use it for travel, you'll just set up several different files and download each day. But for using it home, you'll be in business, talking all over the world. This is Karen, K0RTX at RT Systems. Be listening for you on the air.